Hey there, I'm Alex Martel and today I'm taking you to one of the most highly anticipated additive manufacturing show in the world. Welcome to Frankfurt, Germany, where 3D Natives is attending Formnext 2023. Come with me to get a glimpse of the show and let's take a closer look at what is happening in the world of 3D printing. So let's start today with our first guest. Joining me is Tim Wazitlow, Application and Technical Support Manager at Intemsys. I don't think I need to introduce Intemsys, but for the few of you who don't know the company, Intemsys is a global manufacturer of 3D printers specialized in high-performance materials, covering a wide range of industries such as aerospace, aeronautics, uh, electronics, uh, automotive, medical, and so on. Tim, how is it going? How is for next today? Yeah, Alex, first of all, uh, thanks for being here. It's great to have uh, 3D Natives at our booth. And uh, I mean, what should I say? You know Formnex and it's, it's the time we are all waiting. It's the time of the year we are all waiting for Formnex and now it's happening and it's great as always. So Tim, can you give an overview of Intemsys and its journey into 3D printing? We started in 2016 with the mission to make peak printing uh, uh, available in, in desktop printing. So our very first printer, the Funmed HD, um, was already capable to, to do this and over the years we developed more and more printers with a wide portfolio and I would say as of today we have printers starting with materials like ABS or PC going to super polymers or high performance polymers like Peak, Ultem, PPSU and so on. So what set apart Intemsys from its competitor, I don't know in terms of industries, materials maybe? Yeah, first of all, it's our big material choice. We start where other ends with, with starting from materials PC, ABS, going to all the super polymers, but also niche materials for specific applications in specific industries. And so here at Formnext, you are introducing a brand new printer, the Funmat Pro 310, correct? Yes. What, what's special about it? I think the Funmat Pro 310 looks like a generous desktop 3D printer, but it isn't, because it has a 100 degree heated chamber, all the technology you want like active mesh leveling, uh, IDEX printing, and we have a big range of materials and we have full capability of printing all materials like ABS big parts, PC big parts, half kilo PC parts, zero warping, perfect layer adhesion, and this is what makes the 310 so special. Good thermal control with great parts. So you are also introducing a brand new slicing software. What challenge does it tackle? You know, uh, almost two years ago we started to develop our new slicer because we got many feedback from our customers like this is what we like with this slicer, this is what we like with this slicer and we thought like no, we cannot improve it, we need to start from scratch again and we, need to, we really need to rethink the slicing process. And therefore we really implemented some functions like a compare function or a study function with multiple studies, very, very interesting features actually. Well, that seems super interesting. And actually, you have a great use case on the booth, the car just behind me. Can you tell us a bit more which parts have been 3D printed, what materials, and so on? Yeah. So first of all, how many parts do you think are printed on this car? OK, my guess is um, 25. OK, uh, I would say it's more than 200. So you were <laughs> very, very bad. And you cannot, you cannot see all of them, because we have, for example, here many carbon fiber parts, and all the inlays of them are printed, uh, are printed with Ultem or with PC. We have some parts in the electronic compartment with Ultem, um, the screen holder with PA carbon fiber, and so on and so on. So not everything is obvious, but there's a lot of 3D printing inside, and they also realized a lot of weight saving, more than two or three kilos with 3D printing. Well, that's a very nice use case uh, to show how uh, you know, high performance materials are used in additive manufacturing. Well, congratulations, Tim, for this Thank super you. nice use case, for the new launch, the 3D printer, the software. Uh, I hope you will have an amazing form next 2023, and I hope to see you very soon. Thank you, everyone, um, for listening to this video, and I hope you stop at our booth. We are in Hall 11.1 B31, and we are showcasing very great applications. We're showing great printers and everything you want to see. So, happy to see you soon.
with 859 exhibitors, including more than 300 hardware solution providers, Formnext 2023 is definitely the place to go if you are looking for a new machine. Walking the aisle of the show, you'll be able to find desktop, professional, industrial 3D printer, as well as post-processing station, covering a wide range of technologies such as FDM, SLA of course, but also binder jetting, uh, SLM, uh, powder bed fusion, and so on. So now, let's go and see our second guest of the day, a manufacturer that you may already know. Come with me. From extrusion 3D printing to resin manufacturing, I'm now joined by a true innovating company. Please welcome Paul Spolianski, Chief Revenue Officer at Axtra 3D. Hi Paul, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for coming by. Well, Axtra 3D is a US manufacturer based in Charlotte, um, which came up with the HPS technology, which combine SLA and DLP technologies. Paul, can you uh, introduce yourself and tell us more about Axtra 3D? Absolutely. My name is Paul Spoliansky. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer at Axtra 3D. And Axtra 3D is a new company on the market that introduced hybrid photosynthesis technology and true layer technology, a new, a new separation mechanism. So Paul, what, what's the Lumia X1? I know it's in a secret room behind you. Can you tell us a bit more about it? So the Lumia X1 is a new piece of hardware that combines both hybrid photosynthesis, HPS technology, and our true layer technology in one package. And, and frankly, it's the only way you can access these technologies today. Um, and the combination of both of those technologies lead to six distinct value propositions. Okay. So essentially what we're doing here at the show is showing each one of these value propositions with a customer uh, and, and also a, one of our material partners featured. My belief is that there are many products on the market today that offer one, maybe two, maybe three of these propositions, but we're the only company on the market today that offers all six in one distinct package, which is the Lumia X1. Resin 3D printing is not new on the market, but what was the idea behind uh, Axtra 3D, you know, coming up with a, another resin technology? So what we wanted to do was bring a new technology that kind of addressed some of the shortcomings of products on the market so that customers could actually start addressing the applications they have in mind for production, prototyping, and tooling. Paul, do you want to tell us about other applications that you are showcasing on your booth? So another really exciting application is the direct printing of connectors. Okay. And this is, a, this is an application that a lot of companies have tried to address, but we feel our HPS technology really nails it. So let me give you an example. Check out this platform here. Oh. Yeah. How many parts there? So there's 72 connectors on this platform. And ultimately, we have a customer in Ohio, InPower, that is actually going into real production. And they're using these and delivering these parts to their customers. And they couldn't be happier. Really impressive. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul, for your time, for showcasing uh, such nice application for the launch of the Lumia X1. Yeah. Um, any last part for the end? Uh, if you're at Form Next, we're in Hall 11.1, booth C39. Please come by and check it out for yourself. Thank you. See you soon, Paul. So what I love about Formnext is finding out about new startup uh, coming into AM. Uh, right now, I'm with David Hartman from Helio Additive. How is it, David? Very good, thank you. How are you? Great. How is Formnext so far for you? Uh, really, really good, yeah. Very exciting. Lots of people. Fun to be here, right? And first time for us. Okay. You have a super important news. You won a, an award. Yeah, yeah, that's really great for us. We won the Form Next Startup Challenge this year, one of five winners. Um, yeah, nice to get you know that exposure in the industry, and and then also from judges and from other people coming to us and saying, hey, we understand what you're doing. This is how we can support you in your journey, and that's been really great. Well, actually, let's restart. Uh, what's Helio Additive? Who are you? Tell us. Okay, so we're a deep tech software startup that's making digital manufacturing scalable. And that's always something you people say, oh, you're making it scalable, how are you doing that? We kind of combine two areas. One is revolutionary software tools with first principle physics. Um, and you can think of us as kind of a process dashboard, a physics-based process dashboard for additive manufacturing. Yeah? So we can take in tool paths, materials, printer details, and then very accurately simulate the thermodynamics of what's going on and be able to say, here are your defects, this is how you could optimize speed, this is how you could get first time right. And all of that very focused on uh, high performance polymers. So how the idea of Helio Additive came up? Yeah. So, 
I've been in the chemical and materials industry for a long time and we look into how companies really make things. And in 2019, I was sitting with a very close friend who is very experienced in AM and we were talking about what are the fundamental needs to allow companies doing very cool things to reach their potential and that these fundamental things were not in place. And one of them was being able to understand the physics of what's going on in additive manufacturing processes. And that's why we set out to build Dragon. What's Dragon, actually? That, that's a very... <laughs> Um, so Dragon, you can see on the screen behind us the front end or one of the front ends to Dragon. We're a cloud-based process simulation tool that can take in tool paths, material data printers and spit out a very precise voxel-based analysis of what's happening to layer bonding, what's happening to stress relaxation, where are their defects. Thank you very much, David, uh, for your time. Uh, congratulations. Uh for bringing uh, Dragon alive. Uh, it's an amazing journey. Thank you very much. Thank you as well, yes. And to all the people who are out there at Formnext, we'd love to see you here at the startup area, uh, hall 12, uh, right at the back. Um, please come and check out what we're doing and talk to the team here. Uh, we've got a lot of engineers here who can explain exactly what we do. Well, come and check Helio Additive. As you can see, there are some super cool applications and use cases uh, this year at Formnext, like this uh, basketball prototype from EOS. Um, make sure to watch all of our videos on 3dnatives.com and see you very soon, guys.